Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about auto creating reports in Power BI. So my topic is click, generate, analyze, auto creating reports in Power BI. So before we proceed, I'd like to tell you about myself. I'm Dr. Bhagmati. I did my doctorate in machine learning and data science. I am Microsoft certified trainer, Microsoft certified trainer community lead, Microsoft most valuable professional, Microsoft learn expert, and I'm a published author. I have recently published two books that is on Dynamics 365 Business Central. <laughs> Excuse me. And I hold Asia and India Book of Records. I'm an Enric Lima Award uh, winner for AG Asia, Asia region in 2024. So I hold nearly five, nine certifications in Microsoft and I'm very curious to learn. Like my aim is to keep on learning. If you want to know more about me, scan here and you can find about myself. <coughs> So uh, let's just proceed with the today's topic. So we'll be seeing like what is data, what is how to create report in Power BI. So I will show you how to add the data into the Power BI test Power BI services. Okay, you can either use uh, you can either use the existing semantic model or if you want to add a new data, you can also do that. Okay. The second one is how to auto create your report how you can you auto create it. And even if you're creating, there are some data limitations, right? So we'll be understanding what are the data limitations and then report limitations. So <clears throat> let us just go ahead and create our data here. Uh, for that, what I can do is what I can just click create, click report, okay? And then you can see that there is an option called paste or paste or manually enter data, okay? So just click paste or manually enter data. I'm in. I'm in the Power BI services. So auto create report is possible only in the Power BI services, but not in the Power BI desktop. So in the Power BI services, Power BI services are like SaaS model. Okay. So you can see here that Power BI services, only you can do the auto create in the Power BI services. Now I want to just copy paste something here. Okay. So you can, if you have your data, <clears throat> Somewhere you can just copy and paste it here. I have the data, so I'm just copying and pasting it here. Okay. And you can make it as use first row as header. You can see here you have you have use first row as header. Okay. And then you can see here that automatically the first row has been considered as a header. And if you want to change the data type, you can just change it here. This is my date, data type. And this is This is my number. This has to be considered as a number, whole number. And this is this should be considered as a text. This should be considered as a text. This should be considered as a text. So you have to be very careful when you're pasting it in the Power BI report. You should be careful that whether all the data type are properly mentioned. OK, so text, customer name, text, region, text, segment, text. Quantity, this is like whole number, right? Unit price is also a whole number and sales amount is also a whole number because they, there aren't any um, decimal places. So I'm just going ahead with the whole number. So once you have this data, you can see here that you can find the option called auto create report. So if you just click here, you can see auto create or create a blank report or create a semantic model one day. I want to go with an auto create report. Let us just name this table. So here you can see you have to name this table here. Let me just name it as a uh, sales data. OK, so once you are done, you can just click here auto create report. Just click auto create. <coughs> Your report will start creating now. OK, it's loading. Let us wait for that to load. Based on the data, it will try to. It is, see, if you want, you can just pre select the data. You can see here that the data which are selected is what date and the unit price. Okay. If you wanted to select more data, like if you want to go ahead with the category, if you wanted to go with the customer name, if you want to go with the quantity, uh, sales amount, uh, segment. So, what are the data you want to create a report? You can just make it, make it like that. Okay. So, yes, I think. <clears throat> It has auto created the report for you. You can see here that the report is ready. 
Okay, so see it has created some data, sum of unit price, sum of quantity or date. Okay, and the sales amount and date, segment, customer name. It has auto created report for you. In some cases, if you wanted to edit it, you can just simply go ahead and click this particular thing called edit. This pencil, pencil symbol, right? You can just click here to edit, switch to edit mode, click continue. So it will show you as if how you will be seeing it in the Power BI desktop. OK, so you can see here that this is the data. This is your visualization. And if you want to edit something. Just click this, click any specific chart and based on the chart, you can see that if you want to change the chart uh, to any other form like an area chart and this, if you want to delete it, you can click here, this three dot and remove this. You can just place any other thing here. So this is how this is what auto creating a report based on the data, based on the semantic model. If you want, you can just create it. If you want to delete, you can also delete it. OK, this is how it is. Fine. So yes, I think we have created uh, the report. OK, there are few. Limitations in that. OK, we have to just look into the limitations. What are the limitations which it has and how you should be very careful with the limitations. So if you are pasting the data manually or enter the data option, there is currently no way to update the data later. <clears throat> you cannot update the data. Once you have pasted it, it is ready. OK, cannot update it. If you want to modify or delete it later, you need to go through the create workflow again and get a new report. Okay. So this is the first limitation of the data. Second one is if you have a CSV or Excel file, you need to use paste option to add your data. A file upload option is not available now. Maybe it may happen later. When copying data into enter data window, the size of the data you paste can't exceed 512 KB. That is very, very important. You cannot exceed 512 KB. OK, so. 512 KB of data is what only possible. And the table can't be longer than 80 characters and column names can't be longer than 512 characters. And the table and column names can't contain double quotes, periods or leading or trailing white spaces. You can see here that um, it cannot like the, your column names should not be like that. OK, so when you're creating the columns name should not be like that. Gateway connections are already supported for the Excel and CSV connectors and only eight tables are supported. If you are trying to use Power BI services to enter the data directly, only eight tables are picked. OK, too many tables to load. It will show error. OK, this is the basic um, limitations of the data. Probably will be they'll be just changing it. It may change over a time. OK, so this is what the data limitation and regarding the report limitation. If you use the edit option to switch into full editing mode and save the report, you can no longer switch back to the auto generated view. OK, so uh, with the summarizing pin, so Power BI reminds you that you can no longer switch back when you select edit mode. OK. So for example, if you're just saving, it will save. OK, if you're saying a saving, it will save. Um, sales report version one. It will save that for you, but it, you cannot switch back to the auto created mode. OK, this is a quick summary. This is if you're trying to switch back, it will just show you some error. OK, so this is what the um, limitations of that. So this is what like this is how auto create report works. Even if you have your semantic model, for example, if you just go to the my workspace, if you have your semantic model, sales data. You can simply click. And there you can find auto create report option. If you just click on this auto create report again, you can select the data and your auto create creation will work. OK, this is how auto create reports will work. <clears throat> So I hope you all got some idea about what is auto create report and thank you all for joining today. I'm so happy uh, if you so if you want to learn more about um, 
Power BI, you can see here, this is my channel. And in this channel, you can find the playlist uh, for Power BI. So you can see Power BI for So this is the one Power BI in English, okay? And I have also explained about the Power BI services. You can find it here. I'll be happy to teach you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day.